Hi, Sagittarius. It's Elle here to do your next 72 hour energy reading. Uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Sag with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Sag, this is an interesting one. Um, this is a, a deep, interesting reading. All right, so the cards want you to know that with somebody you were dealing with, it was just a big trauma bonding experience, you know? It's like, who could see, well, let's see whose trauma was, you know, larger. Let's see who dealt with the most trauma. And in conversations where, you know, about the trauma, uh, that was the link that kept you and uh, someone tied together. Uh, this also could be a friendship, too, you know. A friendship was formed, because you do have a friendship card, Um a friendship was formed out of trauma. Something traumatic happened, and then you started talking, hanging out with, being around this friend, okay? And you thought you had a connection. The only connection was the trauma. For some of you, this was the opposite sex. So then you thought that, okay, I'm supposed to be with this person, okay? Um, and you did. You did be with you did start a relationship with that person, but it was just temporary. It wasn't supposed to be long term. If you knew that, or if you didn't know that, some of you are dealing with somebody who's long distance. Also, okay, they're not in your area, in your state, in your country, wherever. Um, now you could be at a place, or the other person's at a place where they're just not attracted to you, or vice versa. You're not attracted to them. And the attraction has worn off because this was supposed to be temporary because you bonded from this place, okay? Some of you bonded from a place of maybe childhood wounds, child abuse, neglect, uh, maybe a death, something of that nature. It kept you tied to this person. Uh, COVID, COVID-19, I'm not supposed to say that, but anyway, um, yeah, the C word, you know, that, that bonded you and someone together and you thought it was supposed to be for a long term, but it was just, you know, a flash, a flash in the pan. Funny. We have that because we have flashy SF. So somebody's very flashy because they are piss poor morally. They don't think highly of themselves. They don't have a very high esteem for themselves. Um, therefore they, they dress themselves in so many different things, so many, uh, fancy things, uh, expensive things, they live in ex an expensive place. They drive an expensive car. They have an expensive clothes. Everything is over, over the top and maybe even flashy because um, it speaks to the fact that they don't have anything worth having, anything valuable. Mm. And value is placed, you know, value is subjective or to the person. You know, it's, I guess it's relative to the person. Everybody values different things. So, they don't have anything value to value. Also, there's somebody here who's closed off to love, okay? Their heart chakra is not open. Why? Maybe because of trauma, past old old wounds that have not really healed. Someone has not done the work, and that's why we have the heal, heal. Healing is the answer card coming out. Because someone hasn't done the work of healing. They're just out here doing, um, engaging, but not being a healed person. Um, someone could feel like they're in love with their friend. And we have friendship card coming up too. Um, also, what I was getting from this card is, because we're going to switch to another gear here. Um, somebody felt like they had a real connection with somebody. Like, this was destiny for them to meet them. The hand of destiny. It was a destined meeting. Uh, this could be a soulmate, twin flame, whatever type of situation. And more so, it's very innocent in their love, not just with, you know, uh, the opposite sex or the same sex. Um, but they're in love with uh, their friend because they feel like it has a platonic base to it also. But there's an interesting energy of 
somebody here feels like they lost someone. They're like the relationship is not recoverable. Can't get it back. They felt very hurt, very left out, very depleted by this person. Okay. And they thought now, I don't know if it's you Sash, that messed up or it's the other person. I don't know. You know, you guys get in where you fit in. But now someone is understanding because you, you got this card coming out twice in two different decks. Somebody's understanding that someone was a gift, you know, a gift from the heavens. It's who you you wished and hoped for. This was a marriage partner. This was a life partner. This was someone you can go the distance with. It wasn't the the weekend person that you decided to be with. Someone is kicking themselves because they chose wrongly now they're in despair they're in they're desperate for this gift of a person to come back into their lives they don't know how to bring them back um and they're stuck with the weekend person the temporary person who they're really not attracted to anymore for whatever reason it doesn't mean that this person is ugly or physically you know um it could be that they're physically unattractive, whatever that means to each and every person. Um, but also, this they could be physically unattractive to you, Sag, or vice versa. This is how someone is looking at you because of somebody's uh, personality, you know. So it just makes them ugly on the outside because they're ugly on the inside. So this is um, this is what I have for you. Oh. Expect powerful change. New moon eclipse. So something is going to leave your life. And pop, probably because you you want it to. Okay. You feel like um, it needs to leave your life. Uh, or you feel like you need to leave somebody's life. And a new romantic cycle is going to begin for you. Maybe around the new moon in Libra. We have that on the 10th, 10-6 this week. Um, somebody is wanting to go into a new pathway. Could be dealing with an Aquarius person. It says full moon in Aquarius, maybe around the Aquarius season. Um, you'll get to show the world the real you. You'll get to show someone um, you. You'll get to show up for someone. Also, we've got Libra showing up. So, um, very, very interesting reading. I hope it resonates for you. Some of you were trauma bonding in terms of drug and alcohol, too. So, you... you um, Yeah, some of you were trauma bonded by drug and alcohol, and um, it turned into something different. All right, that's what I have for you. Thank you, Sag. If it resonates, go over to the website, book your reading there. Take advantage of the text question. Text the question to the number below. Donate to the channel if you're feeling moved to do so by clicking the Buy L a Coffee link. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.